What's the word, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Big Will. Let me get into the story here. First, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It's for all you people out there that know that you can't control life. You can't control life, right? So, you know, God will give you what you need to, to get on with life. He will give you. Um, he don't give you too much. More than you can handle. You may think that you can't handle it, but you, can't, but you can. He won't give you more than you can handle. With that being said, good morning. What's up? It's your boy, Big Will. Let me uh, say this. When you first come in, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button. Help me out. Um, on this channel, we talk all prison stuff. Related and non-related to me. A lot about my stay. Um, just things that happen in general. But my, but my main mission over here is to let you know that prison is not right. It don't make you good, smart, tough to go to prison. It makes you stupid, if you ask me. You're doing things out there and it's taking you away from your family and you're spending shitloads of money, whether it's on bail, whether it's on canteen, phone calls. Do the right thing, get a job. With that being said, let's get into this one. There's always talk about rape in prison. You gotta worry about taking a shower, the next guy's gonna rape you. You gotta worry about moving into a cell. When you come in, you might move in with your celly who's a booty bandit or chomo. There's many names for him, right? With that being said, you also got to worry about the staff. There has been cases of inmates that get raped by staff. Women say that they got male, um, the male gods rape them. Um, I've not, I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard of a CO, a man raping another man. But I have heard of cases where um, the COs have beaten a person and taken advantage of and let other inmates rape somebody because maybe they have done it to a child. Maybe they have done it to a woman that a CO had known or a family member. With that being said, let's get into this case right here. Correction employee is accused of raping an inmate but i'll let you listen and see what you think let's get into it shocking allegations against a local pastor he's accused of raping a male prison inmate today first the pastor don't put it past him all them priests out there they're the worst they're the ones that i think they 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 abuse the power that they get Okay, people give them, people put the power of God, faith. They put all their trust into a priest. And they take advantage of boys, girls, young and old. And it's, it's horrific. But let's get into them, listen to what they say. Today, a shocked neighbor talked about the clergyman with News 4 Jack's I-Team. He hey. talked about God, yeah. He, he let us know, you know, we need God in our life. And accident, we got saved. Right now, 45-year-old Antonio Carlisle is in the Duval County Jail. Aside from being the senior pastor at a church in Lake City, he's an education supervisor for the Florida Department of Corrections. News 4 Jack's I-Team reporter Tarek Miner is joining us with what we know about this reported sex crime. Tarek? Well, Tom, the alleged rape of a male prisoner occurred in August of last year while Antonio Carlisle was in a management role at the Florida State Prison. Investigators say they now have solid DNA evidence linking Carlisle to the crime. He was, he was given a position, an education position, a management position, because in his community he's a pastor. Abuse, not a power. Abuse of his power. Letting the, the, the 
the community know that I preach the word of God so you can trust me. Let it help me along in my life. But I'm going to abuse that power and take advantage of people. Let's see what else it's got to say. You get the job in the prison system, making some more money, right? Probably got a nice pension. See what happens. DNA evidence. DNA evidence you ain't beaten. Reverend Antonio Carlisle has been the senior pastor of this Lake City Church, the Greater Truvine Missionary Baptist Church, for the past 17 years, according to church members. They also tell the News for Jack's I team it was common for Carlisle to talk about the good work he was doing at the Florida State Prison. But while employed as an education supervisor... See what I mean? Brag and let everybody know, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing great for the prison. I'm helping them inmates along. Come on. By the Department of Corrections, a male prisoner came forward in early August telling investigators that Carlisle physically overpowered and sexually assaulted him in prison. A sexual assault kit was collected from the victim. And a DNA cheek swab was taken from 45-year-old Carlisle just last week. The analysis of the DNA reveals a positive match. Carlisle's neighbors say it's all hard to believe. That's crazy. That's bad. That's 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 not good. I would never thought that about him. We didn't. Let me say this. You can't just because he was arrested of it. And now, hear me out. You have a convict accusing this man of this. He overpowered him. It's tough to see, it's tough when to be alone with a prison officials, right? Especially when you're an inmate. Like you're in jail, right? And you gotta be accounted for. There's a CO. It's, 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 it's hard to be alone. You can get, there are times that you can be in the right place at the right time, but it's minimal, minimal time, you know? You, you're, not, you're not giving somebody an hour, a half hour, 20 minutes alone in a secluded place with the person to overpower you. He overpowered him. This man didn't scream. Help. Help. This priest is raping me. This man didn't go right to the officials. He did when he left. Right? When the priest left and the incident was over. Right? He went and said he was raped. Was he? Or is this inmate accusing this man just to get a foot up? Maybe get his sentence reduced. Maybe sue the prison department and make some money. Remember, he's an inmate. He's there for a reason. I don't know the man's charges. I don't know what he's there for. Did it happen? Let's just hear what the rest of they say. To see that in him, he was always talking good. We, it just, you know, shocking, man, to be honest. Neighbor Bernard Wynn says Carlisle was often seen ministering to people in this Jacksonville community where he lived. He talked about God, yeah. He, he let us know, you know, we need God in our life. And actually, we got saved, you know. If not, you know, repent and ask God to come into your life. You know how people do on the streets and stuff, you know. Actually, but yeah, he did all of that. The Florida Department of Corrections issued this statement today saying, the charges against Antonio Carlisle are deeply disturbing and abhorrent. His actions are absolutely the contrary to the core values of the FDOC. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says because of Carlisle's position as a Department of Corrections supervisor and a senior pastor, the judge may consider punishing him with the maximum penalty if convicted. It is a little more serious crime simply because there's a betrayal of trust. You're entrusted to house inmates and you're responsible for their care, custody and control. And he, took, he took advantage of his trust. Again, like I said, you trusted. You trusted. You're a priest. Everybody trusts you. Everybody supposed to trust you. Everybody's supposed to be able to trust you. Can you trust priests nowadays? Let me know in the comments. Come on. And if the
these allegations prove to be true, uh, what has happened is that you have betrayed that trust. So after our story aired at 5 o'clock, a former student emailed us saying that Carlisle was also her teacher at James Weldon Johnson Middle School years ago. His LinkedIn page says that he did indeed work for the Duval County School District. We are working to confirm that now with the district. And we also looked into Carlisle's criminal record. Back in 2003, he was arrested for sexual battery, but the victim dropped the charges then. And that was right around the same time that he took the position as the senior pastor of that Lake City Church. Shocking allegations against... Let me say this. Why did they drop the charges? Was there a little payoff? Some hush money? It happens in churches. Right? There's been allegations of priests for many years now coming out, taking advantage of kids and now he's been a he's been a priest for 17 years and there's only one allegation keep in mind a lot of men don't like to come forward it, it hurts their pride it hurts their 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 men their, their you know some men are scared to say that they've been molested they've been touched have you been touched no matter who you are you're not the you're, it's not your fault you are the victim. It don't matter if you're a child, an adult, you're the victim. If you've if you've been touched, reach out. There's help. Don't let somebody get away with it. Don't look at your your abuser every day or let them get away in life knowing that they could be touching another child. If it's been happening to you, man or woman, you are the victim. Reach out. With that being said, if this man's guilty, he deserves a time. And he'll be punished severely for breaching that trust. And then when he gets in jail, they'll take advantage of him for what he did to this man. But with that being said, y'all let me know what you think. It's your boy Big Will. This rape shit happens everywhere. Protect yourself. Always be aware of your surroundings. In jail, out of jail. Be aware of what's going on around you. Watch people. See how they move. Don't trust somebody. And if it doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. Go with your gut instincts. Let me know what you think. It's your boy Big Will. Like I say, my main mission here stay out of prison stay out of prison these are things you don't have to worry about now again your priest could take advantage of you and and you know but if you're not a, a child chances are your priest is not going to try to take advantage of you and rape you if you do have a child watch them priest if you're putting them in sunday school and all of that stuff it's not god that's doing it it's his fake, um, his fake, uh, helpers, his fake, I don't forget the word I'm looking for right now, I'm sorry, what they're called, people that preach the word, his fake disciples, I will say, watch your children around them, but, um, you know, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you all on the next one. It's your boy, Big Will, Life After Prison. Peace.